Welcome to my guest room. Well, it's supposed to be a guest room. In reality, it's become my 3D printing studio. And as you can see, I have a bit of a space issue. My goal is to transform this small room into a truly organized studio, while remaining a welcoming space for guests. The solution? Well, I will use the vertical space. Rather to install my 3D printers on the large of the room, I will use a special rack like that I can install them one above the other. And as for the decoration on the room, I will use some wood panels. These are very trending on this moment, but I will not stop there. I will use 3D printing to do all the decorations. If like me you have a reduced space and you need a solution to install your 3D printers, you cannot miss this video. Let's go! This is my studio and here is where I work. As this is our new apartment, I need to work on the setup. Okay, the first thing to do will be to improve this black background. At first, I wanted a black background to optimize my videos. But for a guest room, it's not very welcoming. So I bought some wood panels to fill this empty space and then decorate them with cool objects. After measuring the wall, I decided to buy three boxes, each containing two panels. And my friend Thomas came to help me with the installation. The panels are very easy to install. You can choose between a special adhesive or wall screws. I choose the second solution because if I ever want to remove or replace them, it will be easier and faster. To detect the drywall rails, I use a very powerful magnet that allow me to locate their position and mark them. Like this, I can avoid them when drilling. I'm very happy with the result. It still needs decorating, but I can see a lot of potential. Now let's move on to my biggest problem. I bought this shelf when I lived in another apartment. And at the time it was very useful, but now I feel like it's just storing useless things and taking up a lot of space for not too much. My mission? To find a rack that will allow me to store my 3D printers vertically. I want something modular but stable, that is both useful and attractive. After measuring the space needed and available in the room, I came to the conclusion that an IKEA Bro rack will be the solution I needed. Now that the space is available, let's move on to installing this new rack. The rack is now assembled and it looks really great. I still have some doubts about how the machines will behave once installed. Especially regarding the dimensions. Will they fit? Fortunately, everything fits very well into the available space. And I have already run some initial tests. And this to see if the vibration affects the print quality. After the first test, I found out that the quality is not affected, but still, I can see that the core one makes the rack vibrates a lot. So my first solution will be to install an anti-vibration mat. And I know, this is not a good solution nor a permanent one. In fact, to reduce the vibration even more, the best thing to do is to attach the rack to the wall. But since I don't know the exact position where I'm going to install it yet, I'm going to install the mats in the meantime. Once everything was installed, I saw that we still had room to optimize the space. I have some SCADI panels around, and they are perfect for covering the side section. These panels are well known because they can be used to store all kinds of tools and accessories. Printables offers a wide variety of designs, and I already have a few in mind to optimize my space. But first, I need to install the SCADI panels and I'm going to use these pieces. The installation is very easy to do, but you have to be very careful, because there is an orientation. I already have a few pieces available from my old setup, so we will use those. Yep. 
Now let's install the decoration on the wall. And for the decoration, I can drill directly on the wood panel. But instead of that, I will use this tiny part. I love this part because it's very useful. You can install it between the two wood rails and because of the pressure, the part will stay. I found this model on printables, but the only thing I didn't like it was that this part was using an M3 insert. And because I'm very bad installing these heat inserts, and also I needed to order it from Amazon, I decided to modify it using SolidWorks. What I did is that I used an M4 nut and M4 screw because these elements are easier to find on your local store. If you're interested in using this model or modify it, I will share with you the STEP file and the STL file on the description down below. With this part, I'm going to start installing some decoration, such as some frames and these LEGO style holders. I printed them with some PLA, red, yellow, blue, and green, which will add a little color to my wall. If you are interested on the filament reference, I will share them all in the description. I recently started learning to play the guitar, and my instructor said in order to avoid damaging the guitar, I needed to hang it on the wall. So I downloaded this file and printed it in PLA with a good infill. I'm going to attach this installation directly to the wooden panels as I want it to be more secure. Finally, I'm going to mount my first Iron Man helmet. It has been signed by people I love and admire, such as Joseph Prusa, John Scone, Joel Telling, James Bruton, Sam Prentice, among others. We are done with the decoration. Now, let's move on to the final result. And this is the final result of my setup. I'm very happy with this because I saved a lot of space on this room. I went from my two meters long setup to an 85 centimeters one. All of this using the vertical space. I still have some problems with the vibration, but this will be fixed once the rack will be in the right position. Like that, I can fix the rack on the wall. Now the room is ready to welcome some guests. And also I can continue to create my projects with my 3D printers. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. This will help me a lot. See you next time for our next project. My name is Carlos. Bye-bye.